You're not alone if you've been feeling as though product quality has taken a giant leap off a steep cliff. Truth be told, it's difficult to quantify product lifespan. Scientists have tried, but there are far too many categories with far too many data points to accurately assess a general lifespan for consumer goods. Electronics have been a popular area of focus. I mean, how many folks grab a new smartphone every few years? However, most agree that the nosedive has more to do with consumer consumption habits rather than intentional degradation on the part of the manufacturer. As the world's population grows, with most consuming without maintaining or repairing what's already been purchased, pressure to pump out new products into the economy skyrockets. And there's a certain threshold where product quality declines as manufacturers accelerate their pace, struggling to keep up with demand, rising costs, and competition. Within the extremely competitive free market economy of today's day and age, it's a mature, deliberate, and very intentional decision to focus instead on quality over quantity. But there exists a special breed of companies who prioritize durability over cheaper mass production. And those products are what we're here to highlight in this EDC Essentials Guide. We're going to walk you through almost a dozen heirloom contending essentials that are truly engineered to last a lifetime, with warranties that will instill, at the very least, decades of confidence in your purchase. So let's dive right in with our first pick from Leatherman, who has kept the standard high since 1983. Obviously, products without any electronic components are poised to last a bit longer by default. However, analog gear with many moving parts can be just as susceptible to wear and tear, and eventually damage and demise if the build quality is feeble to begin with, especially without basic maintenance from time to time. Multi-tools are by definition packed with moving parts, but Leatherman's mastery of the pocketable utility units have garnered them icon status, and we don't use that term lightly. The Leatherman Signal Multi-Tool is an outdoor-focused heirloom piece of kit that packs in almost 20 purpose-built tools centered around safety and utility in the great outdoors. Leatherman has built out an extensive catalog of multi-tools, each of which are variations on the theme, and each for specific purposes. At the end of the day, Leatherman's 25-year warranty speaks to the confidence they maintain in the longevity of their products, and 25 years is extremely conservative by our metrics. Plenty are passed down to younger generations, scuffed up by years of work, but just as functional and durable as they were when first purchased. But what exactly bakes in this much longevity? Well, a few things. Leatherman's, and we're speaking specifically about the Signal, and more generally about all their multi-tools when we say this, are built with premium materials. High quality stainless steel with equal parts strength and corrosion resistance, and a modular build with easily replaceable parts. Alright, now the outdoor-centric Signal has your standard inclusions like needle nose pliers, regular pliers, premium replaceable wire cutters and replaceable hard wire cutters, a wire stripper, a 2 and 3 quarter inch 420HC combo knife, an awl with a threaded loop, a can opener, a bottle opener, a quarter inch hex bit drive, a bit driver, and a quarter inch box wrench. The rest are purpose built for the outdoors and survival. A safety whistle, a ferrocerium rod for fire starting, a full size saw, a carabiner, a diamond coated sharpener, and a hammer. The Signal Outdoor Multi-Tool also builds in a deep carry pocket clip, making it possible to easily carry on person or attach it to some molly or a loop on the inside or outside of a pack, and the tools are easily accessible from the outside, making one-hand deployment entirely possible. The Signal weighs about 7 ounces, sizes up at 4.5 inches when closed, and comes in a slew of colors like aqua, cobalt, stainless steel, and green, and it ships with a fitted Leatherman sheath made from a hard-wearing nylon. Technically, the Leatherman Signal does build in fire starting capability, but it's going to be an odd look to pull out a multi-tool to light up a Newport in front of your friends. Instead, go with a classic Zippo, everyone's favorite, no-nonsense, durable, flintwheel butane lighter you'll find for under $15, brand new at any smoke shop on virtually any corner. Zippo's been around since 1932, and if you've ever been in a thrift shop, antique store, or otherwise vintage skewed merchandiser, you know that it's not a shocker this lighter is on our lifetime themed list. They simply don't break. Alright, well, that's with proper care, but that should be a given for all of the products on this list. A Zippo's main components are less than 10, all metal, and the ones that aren't are easily and cheaply replaceable. Quite simply, this is a recipe for success. Plus, and this is a central component, Zippo has a it works or we fix it for free lifetime guarantee for all their windproof lighters. Usually, Fixes are DIY friendly and quick, but if anything serious happens, it's really confidence boosting to know the company truly has your back. If you've been living under a rock, here's how the Zippo works. The outside, in this case a brush chrome, is essentially just a show for the removable cartridge. It consists of two parts, a base and a cap, hinged together here with a pin, like a tiny version of a door hinge. This part connects with a butane soak wick and then bam, a flame. 
Once the cap is shut, oxygen is cut off and the flame dies. Super simple. You'll often find that simplicity and longevity have a strong symbiotic relationship, and it's that theme that will pop up as we move through the rest of our picks. Dieter Rams didn't say it first, but in our opinion, he said it best. Less is better, because it concentrates on the essential aspects and the products are not burdened with non-essentials. And inside, here's the cartridge. At the top is your ignition system. The abrasive wheel here rubs up against a spring-assisted column of flint tucked inside. This creates your spark. The spark then ignites a butane-soaked wick that siphons the fuel from a cotton-packed reservoir at the base through a process called capillary action that seems to defy gravity if you don't know the mechanics behind the process. That's not our focus today, but if you're curious, look it up. It's pretty cool. Even though Stanley has been making hydration essentials to last a lifetime since 1913 and has been a mainstay with professionals who rely on durability for their day-to-day -day across many industries, only recently has it caught the eye of the younger consumer sector. There's no arguing the moment Stanley's having, but this moment, in air quotes we say with a chuckle, has been a moment for those who know far longer than its recent popularity suggests. We picked the Stanley Adventure pre-party hip flask specifically for everyday carry because of its portable form, but the tech behind it applies to pretty much every Stanley drinkware product. For over 100 years now, all of Stanley's products have been ruggedly engineered combining the strength of steel with the process of vacuum insulation to keep hot liquids piping hot and cold liquids ice cold. Seeing as normal wear and tear with any consumer product is expected, and there are few moving parts with the ability to repair or replace, Stanley offers a lifetime guarantee that specifically covers the degradation of thermal performance over time. However, unless the vacuum insulation is compromised by punctures or extreme shock, we highly doubt you'll need to take advantage. And like we said before, we love peace of mind with these lifetime guarantees nonetheless. Okay, now focusing back on the flask at hand. Get it? Well, as part of the Adventure series, the flask is molded from a coated BPA-free 18.8 stainless steel, sports a compact size, and integrates a built-in plastic arm that tethers the threaded cap to the bottle to eliminate the potential of loss. In terms of capacity, the hip flask allows for 8 ounces of your favorite spirit to enjoy as you see fit throughout the day. For metal EDC, a critical component of longevity is corrosion resistance. Rust is akin to cancer. It often spreads fast and it's difficult to rid without surgery we're saying with air quotes, or strong chemicals, or a mix of both. Even if your metal EDC isn't directly exposed to water, if you live in a humid environment or near the ocean, rust forms nonetheless. Keybar circa 2014 manufactures keychain systems that eliminate any audible rattle and organize while sporting considerable durability via the full aircraft grade aluminum build. If you haven't already, aircraft grade is a term you're going to hear quite a bit in the EDC space. Aluminum is a low-cost, lightweight metal, and it makes a great option for EDC. However, pure aluminum has a few faults. Quick oxidation, doesn't typically take heat well if welded, and isn't necessarily all that strong by itself. So, to keep the advantages of weight savings while improving strength and corrosion resistance, aluminum alloys are typically more useful in aviation, and have been adopted by the EDC space as well. It's also a really good sounding bit of marketing lingo, but it ensures a very simple piece of EDC, like the Keybar, is a great candidate to last a lifetime. Plus, Keybar products have a lifetime warranty against damage due to a defect during manufacturing, and if there is damage of any kind that falls outside of the warranty, they advise to keep the parts on hand and they'll do their best to address the situation. This full-size Keybar wrangles up to 12 keys and or tools and your choice of a standard carry or deep carry titanium pocket clip as well as an o-ring to keep the keybar on a larger keychain system. Here's how it looks in hand. It maintains a 3.5 inch length and a width at the widest endpoints of about 0.95 inches, or just under 1 inch. Also, the keybar itself weighs the same as four standard house keys, or specifically, less than 2 ounces with all the included hardware. Back in 2013, Paul Kane and his father Daniel launched a Kickstarter that would usher in a new wave of minimalist cardholder wallets, definitively leading the pack to this day is their creation the Ridge Wallet. The genius is the design's ease of use and durable minimalism. Two lightweight RFID blocking grade 2 titanium panels held together by an ultra durable elastic band with a manual finger notch for deployment. And that's it. The Ridge set out to be the wallet that holds the most cards with the thinnest overall profile, and it does so by keeping tension on the two titanium panels with a high strength elastic band seamlessly built into the panels themselves. It also functions as an exterior cash clip. Check it out. At 3.38 inches long by 2.12 inches wide by 6 millimeters thin, 
The ridge is the exact same size as your typical credit card, which is to say you'll notice the edges of the exterior panels and the cards themselves are virtually flush. The ridge comes in a wide range of colors and materials. Ours here is the titanium version, but some of their other popular designs are the aluminum version and the carbon fiber. The Ridge officially rates the Ridge Wallet for up to 12 cards and a fold of cash under the exterior band, and we find this is pretty accurate. You could even fit 5 more cards if you really wanted to, but we don't see any use case for more than 12, so just stick with the recommendation from the Ridge to keep the wear and tear to a minimum. Titanium's long-lasting properties are fairly mainstream now that the latest iPhone 15 has brought to light what the EDC community has already known for decades. However, as durable and lifetime-oriented as the Ridge Wallet is, and as much as they stand behind their creation, the Ridge offers a generous 99-day risk-free trial and a lifetime guarantee. Here's what they say. If you ever feel your Ridge wallet or other Ridge product isn't functioning properly, we'll do everything possible to make it right. In today's day and age, that's the kind of support you want and the support you need, and what keeps your hard-earned cash spent on pricey EDC dependably working for you year after year. Pens are one of those EDC objects that can double as a fidget device to keep the overactive mind and the body occupied. One of the most satisfying and frankly badass methods for fidget integration is in the form of a tactical bolt-action deployment that mimics the action of a classic bolt-action rifle, albeit in a more compact form. Tactile Turn makes a very hard-wearing bolt-action pen with highbrow design cues all wrapped up in an EDC-friendly, beautifully machined titanium shell, backed by a lifetime warranty that states that they will do their best to ensure that every issue you experience is made right. Now, the bolt-action mechanism comes in a number of shapes and forms. Each manufacturer has their own unique spin, but the operation is usually quite similar from unit to unit. The cartridge is directly deployed or retracted by engaging or disengaging the bolt connected to a bolt handle. This bolt usually runs along a straight track and then sits within a lock, usually just a simple back channel to prevent the bolt from slipping back to its original position with the help of a strong internal spring. There are U-shaped, J-shaped, V-shaped, and L-shaped bolt-action tracks, all of which achieve the same end, to lock the cartridge in place. In the case of the Tactile Turn bolt-action pen, we're provided a J-shaped unit built into Tactile Turn's standard 5.6-inch titanium shell. Tactile Turn offers a shorter 5.1-inch pen and a mini size of 4.4 inches. And if titanium isn't quite what you're looking for, even though it's our personal preference for a lightweight, EDC-friendly user experience, there's a more premium bronze, copper, and a very unique dark gray zirconium option. If you've used a bolt-action piece of EDC gear, pen aside, you'll know that there can be some issues with machining tolerances. Part of the reason why we chose the bolt-action titanium pen from Tactile Turn is the mastery in this vein. The action is ridiculously smooth, which points directly to a pen machined to very precise exacting tolerances. The full-size 5.6-inch pen comes with a Pilot G2 0.7mm cartridge, but is also compatible with over 15 standard refills. And take a look at this. This seam all but disappears within the machining, giving the titanium pen a billet-like appearance. Last but not least, securing this pen to your pocket is a stainless steel clip that can also be engraved by the Tactile Turn team, making this pen a very good gifting option as you approach the holidays. Once you start deviating away from full metal EDC, warranties often become far more useful. Just think about it practically. Clothing, electronics, etc. Anything stitched, really, with organic material has a tendency to give way to the laws of thermodynamics quicker than their metallic cohorts. However, GORUCK out of Jacksonville Beach, Florida, founded by Jason and Emily McCarthy, former Special Forces soldier and CIA operations officer, respectively, makes rucking equipment and carry solutions built with life or death quality standards. Their words, not ours, even though we fully agree. Their backpacks, rucksacks, and footwear are backed by GORUCK's SCARS Lifetime Guarantee. Reading between the lines, GORUCK believes in their products so much so that they actually dare you to try and wear them out. But if you manage to do so, they will, at their own discretion, fix or replace your item free of charge. That being said, our pick, the GR1 Travel Rucksack, is bombproof, or so they say with regards to the suspended laptop compartment inside. Even if that is a fancy bit of marketing jargon, the extremely hard-wearing nature of the backpack comes by way of the 1000D Cordura Outer, a nylon with mil-spec build quality. The GR1 currently comes in two sizes, a 21 liter and a 26 liter. Of course, intended application is key, but for an all-arounder, we'd recommend the larger 26 liter size, which we have here with an updated 210D Cordura back panel, after GORUCK's four-year testing phase with the Rucker, another hard-wearing GORUCK bag specifically made for the sport. 
Now that the GR1 has this updated back panel, it's even more hard wearing than ever. Let's walk you through it. Like we said, a thousand denier cordura on the outside with three rows of molly webbing on the front and both sides, as well as strips that run along the outside of the shoulder straps here and here. Now this is the 210D they're talking about on the back panel and along the interior portion of the shoulder straps. It has a noticeably shinier appearance and is really comfortable on person. The GR1 opens in a clamshell manner via the same YKK zippers as the front pocket and provides a slew of organization. Goruk backpacks are fairly simple affairs, but as we said for longevity, simplicity is often king. You only get one outside slant pocket protected with that highly weather resistant 1000D Cordura via a zip flap and it runs the length of the front face's diameter with a YKK zipper and a coated zip pole constructed from a parachute 550 cord. Inside the front pocket is undivided and open and extends to the bottom of the flat padded base. Starting here, we have one top go-to pocket, as they say, completely protected with Cordura that's large enough for a handful of small EDC gear, and it uses a tan contrasting paracord zip pole. Then just below is a large undivided mesh zip pocket that extends to the base of the front face. On the interior portion of the back panel is a laptop sleeve large enough to accommodate most 16-inch laptops, overshadowed by three rows of durable molly webbing to hold accessories like pens, knives, or anything with a clip. Like we said before, the sleeve itself is suspended to keep your laptop safe, and it's held tight during transit with a thick band of elastic right here. Dimensionally, the 26 liter is 12 inches wide by 20 inches high by 6.7 inches deep, and it weighs just about 3 pounds unpacked. Here's what we were able to fit inside within the zip pockets, laptop sleeve, and main compartment. Starting with the front zippered slam pocket, it's large enough to fit a standard size composition book, and we use this simply for scale to show just how deep the pocket goes, that is, all the way to the padded bottom of the bag, but you can outfit it as you see fit. By the way, this pocket has no internal organization, so keep that in mind. Now onto the main compartment. Opening in a clamshell-like manner, the GR1 makes the most of the 26 liter capacity, with a largely open configuration, in which we were able to fit a laptop charger, an EDC pouch, a pair of over-ear headphones, a water bottle, a fleece-lined jacket, a handful of EDC clipped to the three-tiered lattice of molly above the elastic laptop sleeve, and of course, a 13-inch laptop in said sleeve. The interior of the front face packs in two zippered pockets, the last of the internal organization. In the topmost smaller and completely protected pocket, we stowed away a wallet, a small bottle of hand sanitizer, a pair of sunglasses, a lighter, tin of solid cologne, and a notebook and some reading material in the larger, see-through mesh pocket just below. If you've ever looked for a fully American-made EDC flashlight, there are surprisingly few manufacturers who still produce these tools domestically. Even less, backed by language describing the torch as virtually indestructible. Surefire is one of them, and the Titan Plus is the second generation of one of their most popular EDC keychain flashlights to date. The brain behind Surefire is Dr. John Matthews, a Caltech PhD who turned his passion for lasers into a business venture supplying some of the best laser sights and flashlights for firearms. Ever since Surefire's inception in 1979, they've been a supplier of illumination gear to the US Armed Forces and law enforcement, and continue those partnerships to this day while also providing the general public access to the same high-quality tech gear. The Surefire Titan Plus is an ultra-compact keychain flashlight with three modes of brightness, 300 lumens, 75 lumens, and 15 lumens, and a matted nickel-plated brass body with a removable pocket clip able to withstand even the most extreme conditions. Or, to put it officially, the keychain torch maintains an IPX7 rating. The Titan Plus sits at 3.4 inches long and weighs just 2 ounces with a single AA battery included and uses a twist-style activation for its three modes of brightness. Inside, they built in a Max Vision Beam high-performance LED, capable of emitting 300 lumens of brightness for up to 60 minutes with a maximum throw of 66 meters, 2 hours at 70 lumens, and 7 hours at its lowest 15 lumen setting. Operation is a little unconventional, so let's show you. Although the twist-style operation is fairly straightforward itself, toggling through the modes of brightness requires you to twist counterclockwise and then clockwise again in succession to flip through the modes. Twist counterclockwise once to access the first 15 lumen setting, then twist clockwise again to turn it off. A second turn counterclockwise will access the 75 lumen setting, and repeating this process will produce the third brightest 300 lumen setting. Also, Surefire includes a rechargeable AAA battery, so this unit will be virtually maintenance free and is great for the environment. As a last note, Surefire describes the Titan Plus as virtually indestructible and Surefire warrants that if you purchase one of their products and they determine that it is a defect in material and or workmanship during your lifetime, they will repair or replace it with no hassle. 
Both John Hamm and his smooth-talking alter ego Don Draper from AMC's Mad Men can be spotted wearing our next pick by Randolph, who offers a generous, confidence-instilling lifetime warranty for their iconic sunglasses. The Randolph Aviators are a classic American silhouette handcrafted in Randolph, Massachusetts, with American-made history dating back to 1973. If you're looking for a more durable alternative to Ray-Bans, look here because the Randolphs are engineered to military specifications. Obviously, the shape is famously associated with aviation. Anyone from Top Gun's Maverick to actual Blue Angel pilots will tell you that. But these are an excellent candidate for everyday wear, even with their military specs. Here's why. The first is glare protection, with full UVA UVB protection in your choice of 52, 55, or 58mm Skytech polarized lenses with a neutral grade tint originally developed for pilots. Second is beautiful attention to detail, from the gunmetal frame finish to the clear bayonet temple tips that do a fantastic job of keeping the sunglasses firmly but comfortably above the ear. Like all the EDC essentials engineered to last a lifetime that we're highlighting today, make sure to read the exact warranty information before your purchase for any fine print. Randolph lays it out quite explicitly, stating, Randolph, at its opinion, will repair or replace any broken joint on its metal frame eyewear throughout the lifetime of the product. Also, Randolph warranty programs do not cover scratch lenses, temple tips, nose pads, accidental breakage, lost, stolen, dropped, sat on, ran over, dog ate them, or any damaged product by unreasonable use. For glasses, you can't really ask for much more, plus they offer a tune-up service if you see any functional issues you feel can reasonably be repaired before any major damage occurs. Fixed blades are the most durable forms in the knife world. As we've said before a few times in this guide, one-piece construction makes a world of difference for longevity. Moving parts are just prone to mechanical wear and tear, and have a proclivity to break if not engineered at the highest level, and even so, they can break anyway for a myriad of reasons. Giant Mouse makes the GM F1, one of our favorite EDC-oriented fixed blades backed by a lifetime warranty protecting against defects in materials and workmanship for the life of the knife. The GM F1 is overall 5.4 inches long with a blade length of 2.6 inches, made of N690 cobalt high-performance steel, and it's finished in a very fine stonewash texture, all the way down the skeleton handle, which we love. It gives the knife a slight matted look without going overboard and looking too tactical. In other words, it lets some of the steel's bright natural beauty shine. Literally. The GMF1 is currently manufactured in Italy and it comes with a custom handmade leather sheath made by the minds behind Giant Mouse itself, legendary knife designers Jan Zanso and Jesper Voxnes, often referred to just as Anso and Vox, and founder and CEO Jim Worth. Folks, now more than ever, want their hard earned cash to last. I mean, who wouldn't? Lifetime guarantees, warranties, and the confidence of the manufacturer to offer one speaks to the quality you're purchasing. We think it's incredibly important to read this information and check this box before the checkout window. See what's included, see what's excluded, and if you're at all confused, contact the manufacturer directly and it can save you headaches down the road as well. Just a few pro tips from a team who's been around the block more than once. We hope you saw something you liked, and if you didn't, dive deeper into these suppliers' catalogs as many of these warranties offered cover not just one, but most of the gear manufactured. And of course, let us know below what heirloom-worthy EDC is on your radar.